Now, this is a good place for us to kind of recap what we've got here and put it all together. Now, I've already told you about the stem letters here. This is the stem letters. Okay? This is the pot belly family. Okay? And then we got our special letters down over here that kind of related to the pot belly family. And when we put these together, you're going to start seeing some amazing things. One of the things you're probably curious about is, well, if I've got these stems coming up like this, but I've got these other stems like that, how will I know what is what? How will I know? Well, whenever you see a group of three together like this, and there's nothing else there, then it's seen. The three together like that. Have you ever seen anything like that? However, if you see a group come together like this, then with three dots, that's going to be sheen. Now, what if we have one below? What was that? Buh. Remember? And at noontime? Noon. Okay. What if we had two? What would that have been? Ta. Now, I'm going to continue out over this way. Now, watch this. I'm writing backwards in Arabic. But suppose I had two dots underneath that. What would it have been? Wouldn't that have been ya? Like that? Okay, and then what if I would have had this like that with three over it? And wouldn't that have been what? Sa. Now remember that's a with sound. Light three. With. So I want to put over here one dot again and say ba, sa, yas, ta, na, ba, sha. And that doesn't spell anything in the world, so don't worry about it. But it gives you a chance to see how the stem letters work in conjunction now with this one and this one. Now you said, well, wait a minute. What happened to his tail? Ah, now we're going to another level. We're learning that whenever we write the letters in a sentence or in a word, then those tails that drop down are going to disappear. And that's going to be the case of all of those. So watch out now, because you might see something that looks like this. And if you said, okay, that's a ba, you'd be right. That's a ba. And then you saw one here and you said, that's a na, that's a noon. Okay. I see another one here. That's another ba. No, wait a minute. No, it's not. You see this right here? Well, guess what? That's this letter right here, the ha. Can you imagine what he would look like if he had that tail on there? Well, there he is, because whenever you put him in a word, his tail just connects right up here and keeps going. So you got to well, keep your eyes open for what's up here. It's only the straight up stems. You got to watch for that. Now, we're going to put two over here. We got two down here. Now, wait a minute. What's this? Uh huh. Well, we're finding out now that ya, I'm showing you this one up here, ya, is, looks like this with the stem only when it's in a word like this. Okay? Because this is na, that's ya, and this is ta, and this is what it looks like when it's at the end of the word by itself. It's called ya. See it? And it has two dots. See it? So whenever you see this, it looks kind of like an S. That's actually a ya in the Arabic. At the end of a word. Ya. And I'm going to write a, a, a simple little word for you right here. Watch this now. That is the letter A. That was, we look, had it right up here. That is Ein. Ah. But again, he lost his tail. Because they don't get to keep that little tail when they're connected to another letter. So watch out. Now when you see this, that's Ein. So you say Ah. And this is another letter which we didn't show you yet. But I'll be telling you about it. It's not the Aleph. It's an L. La. And this is Ya. 
So that's Ali. Ali. Or it could be Allah. And we'll talk more about that later. But this shows you how the letters, when they lose their tail, whenever they're connected to other letters. But at the end of the word, you will see their tails sticking out. So that's how many of them are going to be in a watch. That's all of these that I just showed you here. The ha. He's one of those who will lose his tail if he's connected. The jim, he will lose his tail. The ha will lose his tail. The ain will lose his tail. And the ghain will lose his tail. All of them will. And so will the sin and the sheen and the sod and the wad. I'm real proud of me for getting that wad sound. You know, I'm working on that. <laughs> so, when it happens that they lose that tail, then they can just connect up to the next letters like this. Okay? But you've got to keep your eyes open because if you'll see this right here, you'll realize that there's another place in the Arabic where we have three dots. But it'll be only over one stem. So, when there's only one stem and you have three dots, okay, that is th. But when you've got three stems and three dots, that'll be sh. Now, I know right now you're thinking, whoa, wait a minute, this is starting to get complicated. But I gave you the hardest part. You've now done the very hardest part. The rest of it starts getting easier because you already know something now. You're going to use what you already have to move forward. Now, having said that, I'm going to let you take time to write down what you've seen here. Obviously, you know by now, you should have had paper and pen ready. You can always back this program up to each one at the beginning of the segments and then go through and review and write these things down. I'm going to give you time to do that right now. And when you get done, come on back and go to the next segment. We'll be right here. Ha, ein, rein. The scene, which was down here. Sheen, connected down here. Sod, Vod. And then we did some connections of some of the letters here and talked about what happens when they get cut off. We're going to come in a little bit closer on this part right in here and let you have a chance to look at this up close. <laughs> 